All right, so now we're going to do the interior portion of the home inspection video. Um, obviously, the front porch, there's a couple of balusters that need to, just need to get re, re screwed on, put in place, reload um, on the bottom plate. So, a lot of that is you'll have to probably pre drill and run a 45 degree angle screw because you're not, unless you got to take the whole plate off, which I wouldn't do that, obviously. So, because then you got to take everything off. So, you just probably put it in the center and just run a maybe you just run a screw from this side so you don't see it and just make sure that you pre-drill it use an eighth one eighth uh wide bit to pre-drill it and then run a three inch exterior deck screw all right so we're going to do the inside now this is called adjusting striker plates which i am notoriously known for uh from everyone that's reading my reports you'll see adjust striker plate adjust striker plate okay this one doesn't there it is right here so for this kind you gotta take these the screws off and you get pliers and you're gonna bend that tab over sometimes you can get the ones with a flat head and you can bend them over or you could do is replace all of them in your house because pretty much everyone needs to be adjusted <laughs> And just get the ones where you can put a flathead screwdriver in it. So you can keep adjusting it. You want to go slow and not do too much. So um, here we are. This is the interior portion. Your smoke detectors work. I am trying to find a carbon monoxide detector. I did not see one. So let's just keep looking around. I'll keep looking again. So, and I just saw it. I think it's right in the hallway. Here it is. <laughs> right in front of me. Um, usually you see them in the hallway. So... You got a truss system, obviously, for gable end for your um, for your uh, your roof structure. Um, so that's standard for a lot of these gable ends, anyway. It's not really a lot, a lot to it. A lot of times, the best homes are the ones that are easy to build. Um, I've, I have to look through the photos for the foundation, but I did not see any um, concerns with structural movement. So um, I did run all the burners. You'll see the photos. Um, these squeaks right here you'll hear it um a lot of times they did not use you know right here a lot of times they did not use subfloor glue back then and i gotta look at the age of the house but um they didn't start using really lots of subfloor glue until like the mid 90s um so there's nothing you can do about that i just a lot of times people do is they'll pen nail into that right there into the subfloor that can be kind of scary because a lot of times too they'll pull apart because this is a floating floor so you got to be careful with that uh we'll just get used to it um this right here actually why you see daylight there is because there were they cut so usually you have a weather a stripping that sticks out past here a little bit and that covers that opening so oh you know what ha. Let me look under here. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Got to adjust the uh, door sill. That's fine. And then um, you could get another one and cut it, and then actually have it stick out a little bit past the door to cover up that opening, because it's technically not, not the weather stripping. That's actually bad. Might as well lock that door. Um, the interior is pretty self-explanatory. So um, let's see if I can find another dress striker plate real quick. And lights on here. I'll show you. Let's do it again. I think this one. I think every door has it. Yeah. See. Okay. So, yeah, I would just suggest just getting them all replaced and just get ones with little, with the warning you can put a flathead screw in. Um. Don't think. Oh yeah, this thing right here. I cannot figure out. Um. Plus the little loose in the back, but I can't figure out how to adjust this thing. To get to the tub water, the tub nozzle, I mean, so faucet, nozzle, faucet, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of confused with that thing. Um, so that's grounded. To see, the thing is, everyone gets freaked out when they see a master bathroom or another bathroom without a G GFI. And almost in all situations, that is actually GFI to the other bathroom. And actually, I know it is. So, um... That's something to be concerned about. It's grounded. I mean, oh, exhaust fan needs to get adjusted. It needs to get fixed. I can refer my HVAC guy. Um, so, 
yeah, um, I'll be having numbers on these reports too. Actually, pretty good. The sliding door is actually moving really well. A lot of times I'll just say run WD-40 and then run the tracks for about five or six times back and forth and then it'll loosen up the uh, wheels. Um, I think this is it with the interior portion. So there's not a whole lot to it. Um, but I have four videos for you. So, all right. Thank you.